Hi, I'm Joe Hayes from the Robotics and Mechanisms Lab at Virginia Tech, and I'm here to show you two robots today that we've developed uh, at Virginia Tech. The first one is named Darwin. He's our uh, anthropomorphic uh, robot that we use to compete in RoboCup. And the purpose of this robot is not a toy, it's a research tool to help us better understand uh, various aspects of locomotion, uh, locality, various uh, aspects of systems for, ranging from mechatronics to vision algorithms. Uh, it's a system full of uh, areas for us to research and better understand to then apply in applications uh, out in the real world. Uh, we also have Raphael, which is our robotic air-powered hand with elastic ligaments, Raphael, and the purpose of this robot, it's actually a robot that was just made this last year by four undergraduate students, and they are studying how to make uh, a dexterous hand uh, more cost-effective to manufacture. Uh, a lot of the, I guess, alternative hands that are available today cost a lot of money. There are some that are as expensive as a million dollars, and the cheapest one that we're aware of is $18,000. This team made the first prototype with uh, $1,800 and now can manufacture the hand by itself $100,000. So it's a lot cheaper. Uh, it's, it's dexterous. Uh, shows some of its capability here in the back. It's using uh, a new kind of air muscle that is similar to a McKibben's air muscle, but it's using corrugated tubing that gives it a, a much long, larger range of motion, as you can see in the, in the video here, from that corrugated tubing. The built-in compliance in the, the actuator also simplifies the, the control algorithms necessary to handle delicate uh, objects, which is uh, another thing that we're studying as well with this hand. So, Romella works on lots of different novel robotics, and uh, we just wanted to share these two with you today. Thanks.